Hello friends, welcome to my channel Durango Hydroponics. I want to talk about hydroponics today. I wanted to give some information that maybe some of you already have, but the idea was to give this information for people that are getting started or that do not have information about what hydroponics is and some of the materials or media used for growing plants. Hydroponics is uh, to grow plants without soil. So uh, you don't use soil, you use uh, some other kind of media to grow the plants. The word hydroponics derives from the Greek uh, and it's two words, water and labor. So it's the work or the uh, work to grow plants without soil. So in hydroponics, the roots of the plants uh, get all their nutrients via a balanced solution that has all the elements needed uh, for the plants to grow in a healthy way. In hydroponics usually um, you get better produ production um, because you get more control over the plants and all the uh, elements that make the plants grow. That's why usually in hydroponics plants grow faster and um, depending on your setup, uh, especially if it's indoors, uh, you get uh, better control of uh, the plants and they usually get less sick and um, you get less issues with the insects. Uh, some of the advantages of hydroponics is that um, your plants grow faster. Uh, and because they grow faster, usually you get a bigger or greater production of whatever you're growing. Um, you l deal with less um, sicknesses in the plants. Uh, usually you don't have insects or you have at least less insects and issues with them. Um, on the long run, hydroponics can be uh, quite cheap so it costs less than soil um, uh, growing plants in soil uh, hydroponics is ideal for small spaces so if you want to grow uh, plants in your basement you can actually do it and uh, you have a lot more control over the plants because you usually control everything to do with the growth of the plants some of these advantages is that Depending on your setup, it can be um, high initial cost. Also, uh, if you want to control all the elements, um, maintenance of the control of the elements can be high. So you may be able, you may have to buy a lot of things to control things like humidity, temperature, um, oxygen or CO2 production, and some of the other things. Um, another disadvantage is, is that that if you get a um, sick plant or if you get some kind of an insect into your plants uh, because they're indoors or they don't they don't have um, other insects that can kill them um, a plague can kill all your plants very quickly um, and. Uh, another disadvantage could be that um, uh, the maintenance, the labor maintenance can be quite high because you um, get to control every single thing and uh, the work can be quite a lot more. Um, so the next thing I wanted to talk about was the grow media. In grow media uh, we have basically three types. Organic media, inorganic media and synthetic media so we're gonna see each one of them and I'm gonna give you some of the characteristics of uh, most of them so we'll start with the organic media so the first thing is the uh, coco coir uh, this uh, is actually very very popular with uh, hydroponics um, it, it's highly used and one of the reasons is because chemically it is very stable. Um, also another of these characteristics that is um, uh, 
because of uh, because of uh, this characteristic is also used a lot is the um, humidity retention which is about 57 percent so this is a very popular material used in hydroponics um, there's also a coffee husk the coffee husk um, is not used as much but it's good and is used mostly to oxygenate other media and one of the issues is that it's very short uh, leave so it's got um, it actually decays very quickly the next one is the wood dust the wood du wood dust is uh, used in hydroponics very little because mostly because uh, usually you don't know where it's come from so you don't know the type of wood it came from and it can actually be uh, out of treated wood which makes it actually toxic to the plants um, uh, wood dust has about a 50% humidity retention. The rice husk is also used in hydroponics. Uh, one of the issues though is that it's very light. Uh, so you have to use it in conjunction with other substrates uh, um, or other, other media. It has about a 40% humidity retention. And the last one that I have here is um, peat moss and uh, peat moss has char characteristics very similar to the ones of the coca coir um, the um, humidity retention for it is about 70 percent so it's got actually a higher retention uh, humidity than coca coir and is used also a lot in hydroponics so the inorganic media we have perlite uh, perlite can be uh, white or a little gray and the uh, humidity retention is 63 percent it's a highly used uh, material in hydroponics um, so the next one is pumice rock uh, pumice rock is also used in hydroponics it has a, a 38 percent retention of uh, humidity next we have gravel the gravel to be useful in hydroponics has to be quite small uh, one to two millimeters of diameter and it has a very low humidity retention it only has 17 percent um, the next one is vermiculite uh, this one is got characteristics actually is material that is very similar to perlite uh, it just has another uh, a different molecular structure but um, this one has about a 68 percent um, humidity retention rate and is highly used in hydroponics as well um, we have sand and the sand uh, comes in about 0.5 to 0.2 millimeters of diameter has a 57 uh, 56 sorry uh, percent of uh, humidity retention the next one is we have the uh, volcanic rock and volcanic rock is also used in hydroponics it has a 49 percent um, humidity retention rate and one of the issues is that these ones can come with uh, small particles that needs need to be washed um, before uh, being used the next one is uh, the uh, clay pebbles and clay pebbles are used um, to give weight to other media or, um, or to prevent uh, light to come in into some of the other media so that algae doesn't grow but is um, highly used in um, hydroponics one of his good characteristics is that is uh, uh, the pH is neutral um, and it provides um, um, aeration to the uh, plants. The last one I have here is rock wool, and rock wool is um, used a lot in hydroponics. It's mostly used to help um, seeds germinate. 
but it's also used to grow plants as uh, you know one of the media um, used that way can be a little expensive um, but it's mostly used to start seeds and um, the rock wool has a 78 percent humidity retention so it's actually um, one of the best uh, material that uh, holds uh, water or humidity um, we have some synthetic media as well so the gels um, are used but they are not popular because of their cost usually they're quite expensive then we have uh, polyethylene foam um, this uh, usually is used to um, in conjunction with other um, media uh, to make them lighter then we have a uh, polyurethane foam and the polyurethane foam um, is used usually to do uh, seed starters we have a uh, phenolic foam and this um, foam is actually used also a lot in hydroponics especially industrial setups and is um, used because of its duration this uh, type of foam can last about six years and the last uh, one that I have here is polyesterine foam um, this this uh, foam um, is usually uh, mixed with other substances because this is uh, quite um, light so I think uh, these five materials are the ones that are used the most is coca coir, perlite, vermiculite, rock wool and clay pebbles is some of the materials that are used the most in hydroponics and um, they are like because of uh, some of its characteristics like humidity retention and also the price and um, they are usually used um, as a mix with others so usually none of them are used by themselves uh, although in occasions they are uh, but they are used in conjunction with each other regularly and um, depending on where you are in the world um, this is usually the most common media in hydroponics so I hope I provided some information that is useful to some of you uh, so if you have any questions comments and suggestions uh, please leave them uh, in this video and um, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you can help me spread the word as well I'd appreciate it thank you very much and have a nice day